The transistor emitter follower is a very useful circuit that can be used in many designs. I've used it a huge number of times. So in this video, I'm going to explain what it is and how it can be used to improve circuit performance. In essence, an emitter follower is a common collector configuration of a bipolar junction or BJT transistor circuit. It's called an emitter follower because the emitter voltage closely follows the base voltage, even though there's a small voltage drop across the base emitter junction. In its very simplest form, the circuit consists of a transistor and an emitter resistor. When a signal is applied to the base, it causes a corresponding current to flow through the collector and emitter circuit. The emitter voltage closely tracks or follows the base voltage. There's just the base emitter junction difference, which is about 0.6 volts for a silicon transistor. So let's look at the key characteristics of the emitter follower. It has a high input resistance. This means the circuit draws very little current from the input signal source. It reduces the loading on the previous stage. The input resistance is typically beta, the transistor current gain times the overall emitter resistance, including the load. The circuit also has a low output resistance, and this makes it suitable for driving lowish impedance loads. The voltage gain of an, of an emitter follower is unity or one. Finally, the current gain. This is greater than one, providing current amplification. So where are emitter followers used? Their chief use is as a buffer to reduce the load on a source. It could be an oscillator or anything where the loading may be an issue. In a similar vein, they're used in impedance matching where it's necessary to match the impedance of a high impedance source to a low impedance load. The circuits can be directly coupled as I've already shown. Here, the bias voltage for the device is taken from the previous stage. Alternatively, they can be AC coupled, but here the bias network needs to be set up and the coupling capacitors selected to give the required frequency response. If you need any more information, head over to the description and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.